everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Telly Tuesday. Woo! Yes, and we're also going to do spec check with our boy, Brandon Soriano. Woo! Hey! Yeah. Hello. How's it going, Brandon? Oh, it's going good. How are you? The doing? trio is back. Yeah, the trio, the trio is, trio back. is back. <laughs> Plus Jack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we are going to announce a winner for our favorite comment of the week. Um, we do this once a week on Tuesdays. Um, it's going to have to go to the Strider Day video. That was a lot of fun and a really cool guitar. Um, so the comment goes to Tom Petty Jr. 22. Uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> we love Tom Petty. Um, the comment is... Can we all just take a moment to appreciate this man's looper pedal work to absolutely melt this guitar? Perfection. Wow. Thank you so much. I really appreciate wow. that. I did have a lot of fun with that guitar. I came back and the first thing I did when I got to work today was plug it back in. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. Very bendy and good good tones, but um, yeah, you just win yourself a shirt. And uh, make sure everybody keeps commenting and subscribing and we will uh, pick another one next Tuesday. But well, we're gonna get to today's guitar of the day. Yeah, thanks, Tom Petty Jr. Twenty-two. That's pretty cool. Twenty-two. 22. Don't forget Tom that. Petty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is a really cool guitar today, actually. And uh, Telly Tuesday, probably my favorite day. Um, that and Flat Top Friday. This is a newer one, but it's a very cool spec because it's from the custom shop. So, coming on back from 2019, this is a Fender Custom Shop. Whoop. Fender Custom Shop 59 Journeyman Telecaster Whoa, in wow. rose gold or copper with an anodized guard. There's a, a whole lot to talk about here. And check out that matching headstock, man. Yeah. I like that. Oh, it's super cool. Really cool. cool. Yeah, you don't always see matching headstocks, and it helps uh, when it's an especially cool color, too. That's, like, really, really a unique look. So... What happened here is that this is a custom shop order and they essentially made like a conglomerate guitar. They're, they're not trying to reissue any specific vintage year or anything like that, but rather they took aspects of a bunch of different years of Telecasters and combined them into one. And then of course they finished it in a much more modern uh, sort of, uh, I would say, a, I would say a modern way. It's like a metallic-y sort of a newer looking finish, but it is relic. So what did they do? Well, uh, obviously they have gold hardware. Uh, they've got three saddles here instead of six. So this is the more vintage style and they are threaded saddles. Um, we get a bridge pickup that's a flat pole piece bridge pickup. So this is like what you would see on an early 50s uh, to sort of mid 50s Telecaster before they started staggering the metal pole pieces. And what the flat pole piece pickup does is it adds some presence to the guitar, uh, changes the bass response a little bit. In my opinion, it evens out the sound of a bridge pickup on a Tele because sometimes they can be a little spiky. Um, so I love the flat pole piece pickup. Of course, a gold cover on that neck pickup as well. Um, we're going to Come back to that pick art in a sec because I have a lot to say about that. He's very excited. And then I'm really excited. <laughs> He's what? Um, I learned some new stuff. <laughs> very excited. Okay, so the, the neck on this is uh they say it's like a 59 Esquire C neck. So it's a little bit of a beefy neck, not huge, but it's not like a blade either. I think it said that it's about 0.79 down here, but it gets up to like 0.93 or something like that at the 12 fret. So you know, decent sized neck. It is a rosewood fingerboard, and this is a uh, a slab board or a flat lamb board. So what that means, if you look down here, uh, you can see that that piece of rosewood on top is quite thick and the bottom of it is flat. The later rosewood boards, uh, which we would call either a veneer board or a round lamb, round laminated board, uh, the bottom of the rosewood board is actually curved to the radius of the uh, fingerboard. But on a flat piece like this, the bottom is completely flat and only the top is curved. Uh, that gives you some extra wood to work with. So if you ever do need to do like a refret and a sanding, you're not going to be losing too much material because you have a lot to work with. And also, it adds a little heftiness to the tone, in my opinion. Uh, I really like the way that a uh, a uh, slab board feels and yeah, sounds. I agree. Yeah, I agree with that. And these are uh, dot or clay dot inlays on here instead of pearl or pearloid, so that's pretty cool. It's like a matte finish dot inlay there. These are larger frets than what you would see on a vintage guitar. 
which means that you can bend. So that's a plus for the modern player for sure, in my opinion. Um, it is also a nine and a half inch fingerboard radius. Vintage guitars would usually have seven and a quarter, which is more rounded off. Nine and a half is just a little bit flatter and is more common for modern fenders. Again, just makes it easier playability, uh, but you're still getting the profile of like a 59 guitar. So a, kind of a cool mix up there. Um, we mentioned the matching finish on the headstock with yes, more gold hardware and these are the vintage style top loading tuners as opposed to the side loading love these because you don't get any strings sticking out nothing to prick your fingers on there look at that I'm fine. He's fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I know you were all worried. I, you were all worried about my hand? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, okay, in the back, custom shop logo there. And uh, four bolt neck plate, also gold, of course, as well as the strap buttons are gold. Let's talk about the pit guard. Okay, this is an anodized. I did some research. <laughs> this is an anodized pit guard, and people are always asking, what does that mean? Well, Anodization is a chemical process that can be done to different types of metals, most commonly aluminum. So this is an aluminum anodized guard. And essentially what they do is they take the piece of aluminum, they take a, a bath, like imagine a big sort of crate type bucket kind of thing. Um, they fill it with acid electrolytes. It's like an acid electrolyte mixture, right? They lower the metal into it, and then this is super badass. They electrocute it. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that sick? That that's pretty cool, that's metal, man. Okay. They lower the metal into acid and then they electrocute it, and this is what comes out. It gives it this like brushed sort of metallic-y surface that is really corrosion resistant and it's also insulated um because aluminum does a thing with when it gets oxidized when you like have raw aluminum in in the atmosphere it reacts with the oxygen particles and we're getting a little beyond my table <laughs> now, but, you know it's super cool i love this they do this on like the jay mascus uh, jazz coat. masters <laughs> yeah we should awesome. get him dude we should get him a lab oh coat. my god i would wear the hell out of that okay <laughs> cool. anyway Spec check. Uh, okay. That's it. Comes with a. Wait, can we see the back real quick? Oh, we didn't yeah, really see, see the back. back. Sorry, I got all, all uh, caught up in the pit guard. <laughs> pretty, there. and it, it is, is relic. Pretty. This is like I would call this kind of like a closet classic kind of relic, where there's no huge gashes in it, but there is some finish checking, um, as if this had been sitting in someone's closet for years and years, but didn't get a ton of heavy use. Just a little bit of of dings there. So, a cool relic job for sure. The case is a custom shop case, G and G. Uh, custom shop logo back here, dark red plush interior, and black Tolex on the outside. And for the nerds, that's me. We do have the COA with all of the specs inside. Uh, we do have the uh, uh, bridge cover, which is also gold in there, as well as like the picks and the care forms nice. and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and you get the 2019 custom shop guide because that's the year that this guitar is from. So with all that being said, uh, <laughs> All that being said. That was a lot. Yeah, but it was good. You. Thank you. I really studied up on that pit guard. I was excited about it. That's so. pretty cool, though. I it's cool, know. right? I, I was just out there thinking, like, what the hell is that? Like, how do they do that and why? And uh, there's a ton of articles about it. Not a lot about guitar. It's mostly used in, like, building constructions and making scientific machinery and stuff like that. Super, uh, super cool. <laughs> Very cool. Super cool. All right, let's take this right. yes. out from my <laughs> See what we can do. <laughs> Thank, thank you, you Jen. Jen. Not sure, Brandon. Oh, no, just kidding. No, no thank super you, thank you, Brandon. Buy me a lab coat. <laughs> we will buy you a lab coat. All right, up front with the 2019 Fender Custom Shop 59 reissue Telly. It's a journeyman in copper, uh, metallic, really cool looking guitar uh, with that anodized guard. We're also going through a 60s Fender Super Reverb. Starting off on that neck, let's see what we get.
to both pickups together, see what we get. <laughs> Nineteen Fender Custom Shop, 59 Telly Reissue, Journeyman in Copper, Metallic Finish, the Gold Hardware. Really cool guitar. You can check them all out at normansrayguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Emma. Bye.
Jesus. Nailed it. That's a tough one.